Uh, 749 is the time. Now, technology has become a huge part of our everyday lives, and now our kids, as we have seen, mm -hmm. have become very attached to it. A new survey from the Kids Mental Health Foundation shows half of parents think their kids spend too much time on technology. So we're going to talk about this morning. We are joined by Dr. Whitney Bignall Raglan. She is a pediatric psychologist uh, from Nationwide Children's Hospital. Good morning, Dr. Bignall Raglan. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate you. Oh, it's so happy to just be with you all this morning. Okay, so you had you guys had this um, uh, survey or poll that showed half of parents are. I'm surprised it wasn't a hundred percent of parents because this is a major issue. Because on one hand, it's nice that the kid is like you know occupied for a second, but it can mm -hmm. go too far. How do we as parents know when our kids are spending too much time with technology, be it games or social media, any of that stuff? Yeah, so I think it's first to think about, are they able to enjoy other activities? So for, as a, for example, if you are doing uh, an activity outside or you're eating dinner and they are only thinking about getting back to that device or that technology, they might be spending a bit too much time on it if they're not able to focus on other things. Especially if there's, you're noticing some changes. Are they more irritable? Are they isolating and staying in their room? Those are things that could concern us that maybe they're spending a bit more time, like too much time on it, and we might want to uh, add some additional things to their life. And the other thing that I want to say is that if they are no longer interested in connecting with people without a screen, we really want to make sure we're thinking about how we can limit that because we don't want it to become too much uh, of a good thing. Yeah, and I wanted to get to that because, you know, think about when we were children. You would play outside. You, you would have disputes. Let's do this. Let's do that. We had to settle it. Now they're just playing what they want or watching what they want all the time. And that concerns me about how do they develop connections either with other friends, classmates, teachers, uh, how does the technology affect that? We know that it's, it's some good and some bad. It's, you know, there's not a all bad in technology. You know, sometimes technologies help us to connect with people who have similar interests mm -hmm. that might not live close to us. Or, you know, during the pandemic, we needed the technology just to help us to connect. But the key is that we also need face-to-face -face connection. We need to be able to see people, uh, do things with them, do a variety of different activities, and spend quality time with them in that way. Our bodies need us active, our minds and our mood need us mm -hmm. to engage in many different activities that bring us joy, and we need to have a long list. And so it's just important for us as people to know that connection is so important for both our physical and our mental health. So we have to make sure that we have that face-to-face -face connection every single day. Is it is it reversible? Are we too far down the path? If you're a parent who's listening to this going, those, my kid has all of those symptoms, how do we turn it around and how do we get them to make better connections and how do we connect with them better as parents? First, we got to start talking with them, right? We need yeah. to set aside time to have conversations to understand where they think they are with connecting with other people. Is it that they feel that they don't have friends or are struggling to make friends? How are they doing at school? We know school belonging and connection is so important for kids. And so we need to have those conversations. And then based on that, we just have to talk about, not that we're going to take that thing away from them, but how can we add to their list of things they enjoy? There's always need for balance in our lives. There's you never want too much of a good thing. And so talking to our kids, how can we add more things to what they like to do? Because overall, it will help to improve their life. I always like to use the analogy. You can't have hot fudge Sundays for dinner every single night. Uh, where, where can parents go if they need resources, if they need just ideas, help with getting this ball rolling? So they can visit our website at thekidsmentalhealthfoundation.org. And what's so great, we have lots of different topics that help talk about specifically building connection, having conversation, and definitely some resources if you're worried about your child and their screen usage. Gosh, it is such a hard thing for parents because, like I said, they're, they're occupied. You can get stuff done, but... <laughs> When does it cross the line? Dr. Whitney Bignall-Raglan, thank you so much for your expertise. We appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.